We're here today in the sight of God in the presence of these witnesses to join this man and this woman in the sharing of their love for one another. Since the beginning of time to our present age, God has both created and blessed this sacred institution Ben and Morgan are entering into today. Ben and Morgan, today you're about to make a commitment that will change your life forever. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all you guys coming. We appreciate you guys tremendously. I know it's a long drive for everyone here, so that's what's most important to us, is that you guys are here with us in this barn, having a good time. Ben is the love of my life. I'm, he healed me in places that I, I did not need to be healed, you know, and, um, it, you know, encouraged me and all my girls here with me, I just appreciate you guys with everything, with the bachelorette and just being here for the day of. Truly, we have, we're, we're spoiled. We have the best of the best. Man, it's finally here. The day you and I dream about for the last three years. It's like, I gotta be the person you go to for anything and everything. I vow to be your rock, your best friend. I vow to lift you up every time you need it. I vow to love you beyond measure every day of our lives for the rest of our lives. I vow to be your partner. I vow to be the passenger princess. I vow to be stubborn and drive you crazy. I vow to stay the same to myself and true to you. I know I never make you feel uneasy about anything in life. I vow to continue to work on how I handle every argument. I vow to try to make improve myself every day. I vow this to you. I love you. Now let's get married. Love Mrs. Watson. Formerly known as Mrs. What about my wife? <laughs> no. Seriously, everybody standing here means something to me. I greatly appreciate every single one of you making all of them. I mean, hell, I even got my brothers from cowboy hats. If anyone knows them, that's that was a feat in itself. But, you know, there's a lot of guys in this room right here, people in this room right here, that uh, have changed me into the man I am today. And I'm grateful for every single one of them. The past few years have been life altering in many ways. However, do you know what I am most thankful for out of everything is your love and acceptance. I am beyond thankful you accepted me into your lives and let me in. You did not have to love me just because your father did, but you did. That means the world to me. You willingly spent time with me without asking and let in your lives with open arms. You are your father's pride and joy and you will always come first. Thankful doesn't even begin to describe how I feel whenever I think about you girls and our relationship. Today, as you marry your father, I am not only committing to a life with him, but also to a life with you. I promise to support you, to care for you, and to love you as my own. I vow to be there through all the life adventures and challenges. I vow to listen to you, to guide you when you need, to, need or ask, and to learn from you. I promise to celebrate successes and comfort you in disappointments. 
You are such an important part of this new beginning and I am grateful to be taking this journey with you. I look forward to seeing, seeing what the future holds for us as a family and I love you both. Love more. Oh, I don't want to mess up my makeup already. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, you were beautiful. Thank you. Your gas has started. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Amazing. You look great. Never had an audience before. <laughs> wow, that is a long dress. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> First that, well, because it just goes that way forever. That's a long camera, too. Like yeah. <laughs> Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me, and I hope that you never decide to set me free. The way you're moving, it's got me moving. Dare to dream is you forever moving next to me. Let's not waste time or take this slow. We've got miles behind us, with miles to go. So let's just break this down to the simplest truth. You both came into this ceremony today, two separate individuals, but you will leave as one. Each of you are bringing into this marriage your own unique personalities. Learn to respect and honor your differences, but at the same time, remember what we said, that God often uses those differences to both complement and complete one another. All right, now you're gonna say your vows to one another. Ben, we're gonna start with you. I, Ben, take thee, Morgan, to be my wedded wife. I, Ben, take thee, Morgan, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. <laughs> to have and to hold. From this day forward. <laughs> from this day forward. <laughs> for better or for worse. For better or for worse. Richer for poor. Richer for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Until death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Morgan, same thing. I, Morgan, take thee, Ben, to be my wedded husband. I, Morgan, take thee, Ben, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse. For better. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. For sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Take this ring and place it on Morgan's left hand. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh. She's who is This ring I give. This ring I give. In token and in pledge. Uh, in token and in pledge. Of my constant faith. My constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. And we're going to take this ring and place it on Ben's left hand. This ring I give. This ring I give. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of my constant faith. Constant faith. And abiding love. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I just, we just thank you for the gift of marriage that we're able to be a part of today. Would you take the love that Ben and Morgan shared today and seal it with your love? 
Would you place your arms around them and guide them each day as they begin their new life together? For it's in your Son's name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. As for much as you, Ben, and you, Morgan, have consented in holy wedlock by taking these vows and receiving these rings, and by the power given to me as a minister and by the authority of this state, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Come here. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> Turn and look towards the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ben Woods. First, I want to congratulate you guys, and I'm so happy and proud of you both. My very best friend, the person I look up to, the person that understands me more than anyone. I am so proud of the person you are. It has been an absolute joy to watch you grow, succeed, accomplish goals, and meet your soulmate. You have always been the most honest, judgment-free listener and the best advice giver. Through every loss, big or small, accomplishment, my little girl, family, or possibly anything at all, you've been there. This is only the beginning for you guys, and I can't wait to see your life unfold and everything you will accomplish together. My advice to you both is to never go to bed angry and to live every day like it's your last. Congratulations, and let's cheer to happy ever after. I feel like I ought to sing a George Trey song or something in his hat, but I don't guess I will. Uh, my name's Nate Montgomery. I'm shooting off the hip here. I haven't wrote anything. I've known Ben for about 20 years since around the high school. And it's kind of ironic. Anyone that's ever played sports against El Dorado hates him. And uh, I love Ben, and I've gotten to know some of my best friends from El Dorado now, and, and I know Ben and his whole family very well. The uh, thing I'll say about Ben and his brothers and his dad, uh, they, they can do anything. They're independent people, they're good at what they do, and they're problem solvers. Um, so I've, I've gotten to know Morgan, and uh, and she's, she's, she has a lot of these same things about her. With uh, She's got a boat, I'm pretty sure it runs about 250 miles an hour. I'm not positive. Uh, I think that's close, though. I would have it in the bed of a pickup truck if I ever tried to load it, I know that. Uh, but she can do that all on her own, no big deal. Um, and her horses and a lot of the hobbies she does. Uh, she's an independent person, very capable. She's a problem solver. Uh, and they share those those things, and I think that's awesome. Um, so I, I hope you guys are able to use those uh, characteristics and uh, uh, wonderful things about yourselves to uh, build and fix and solve problems and have a wonderful life together. Uh, everybody, Let's have a toast to Morgan and Ben. Yeah.